Good morning. I officially made it to London. My hair is so frizzy. It's just like a frizzy hair day here in London and my hair did not style very well when I washed it last night. So it's just how it is. Um, I was up super early this morning for my flight. I was up at five. I'm not usually much of an early riser. So um, yeah, it is just half 10 now. I'm in my friend's flat <laughs> and I am just doing some admin type things I need to do before I head out. She is in college, she's a couple of years younger than me, so she's in school right now. And I'm just doing these couple of things. So tomorrow I am headed to the knitting and stitching show, which I'm really excited about. I was supposed to go last year and the ones in Dublin have been canceled and all that sort of stuff. So very excited to go to that. Um, Cause if you know, I have a needlepoint shop, AMK Needlepoint, be linked down below. Um, so I'm really excited just to see all the vendors and everything like that, just, you know, I thought it'd be good to see what else is out there um, and obviously I can stay here with my friend and she's coming with me and then today I'm actually going to there's a needlepoint shop I think here um, it's more like tapestry um, I think it's kind of fancy but I'm still gonna check it out it's in South Kensington so I'm actually going to go to the v &A Museum I booked a ticket last really really late last night I didn't finish packing last night until like almost one o'clock so that's also like why the hair is like this and just my outfits are not cute. I am just a ball of stress, um, which I will probably talk about why. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the v I'm gonna see like the bags exhibit. Um, I think it's sponsored by Mulberry. So that should be nice. Um, and yeah, and then, you know, we're just gonna have hopefully kind of a chill weekend. And so my previous vlog to this was Madrid. So I only got back from Madrid on Wednesday, mid kind of early afternoon, um, but I got into Dublin and then, you know, I was waiting around um, for my dad to be done work. And then we drove down and I got back in the evening. It wasn't yesterday evening, it was the previous evening. And then I had yesterday to kind of prep for today, but there was a lot of other stuff going on that made it a little bit more difficult. So, um, the Madrid vlog was like all over the place and I kind of stopped vlogging and just took lots of clips. Um, it's still cute. I took a lot of film photos. Um, so hopefully I'll share those in like a blog post or on Instagram. I'm at Anime by Design on Instagram. I posted like a lot on Instagram about that and everything. It was such a good time. But there was just so much going on for both of us, um, which I haven't actually closed up that vlog. So I'm going to do that right after I finish this clip. Um, so it's it was just there was a lot going on so i'll kind of briefly re-explain it here i have been looking for work or an internship or something like that post-grad for a long time now but um pandemic ireland the sector i'm in things were just like not good so you know looking to do this for a long time and then you know they say they're like buses they all come at once and i had kind of three plates spinning and trying to figure out which was actually gonna like take me and which one I was going to take and it was very difficult <laughs> time and then also my friend's apartment the original one that she looked at fell through so we were looking for another one and things were just very stressful oh and then whatsapp and facebook went down and then I wasn't able to log into certain profiles so I couldn't do it, it was just like not a good time so well, we had a great time, but we were very stressed, so I didn't really feel like vlogging. But this weekend should be a bit better because I have, I ended up basically getting offers, like soft offers from, or not, one was not an offer, two soft offers for internships. Um, and one of them I'm so, so, so excited about. Oh, and I didn't say before, one of the internships was actually in Switzerland. <laughs> it's in Geneva. And I was going to start on the 18th, um, which is like just a little, this 10 days away. So Geneva is so expensive. No. Um, well, yes, it was a wonderful opportunity, but it just, it was really stressing me out. But I have another one. So I'll talk about that another time. Um... I'm going to, that's like basically the framework of this weekend and where my head's at, why I'm absolutely addled, but I'm going to just request uh, professional references from two people and then 
I am going to head to South Kensington. I don't think you can hear me here. I've just left the v &A. The exhibit was really good. I didn't film, obviously, because it's like, you know, for the main exhibit, the bags inside out. It was good. It was nothing phenomenal. Um, and then I walked around some of the other exhibits, the, which I had clips off, like the uh, South Asia and the one of the Middle East exhibits. So that was good. And then I went into the shop and got some note cards, cute. And I'm just gonna head back now because I need to send some emails. And my friend is actually home. She decided to study, so I'll see her then. Okay, so it is day two in London. We had a bit of a quick start to the morning because we like, didn't realize what time it was. I slept in and it's like timed entry. <laughs> it's like almost an hour away. So we had to, we even left later. Like we didn't have time, but we managed to make it in time because we're fast walkers. It was, it was a little bit hectic, but then we got to the knitting and stitching show and I thought it was going to be like a little bit quieter. It was buzzing. It was so good, so worth it. I'll insert all the clips I took throughout the show. Um, I didn't take all that many. It was super busy. I don't know if it's like really easy to tell from the video, but like it, it was timed entry. Um, you had to have a COVID vaccination cert or, you know, like the way your certificates are in Europe or you had to be like, have had been positive. So you have natural immunity or you had to get an antigen test outside. There's all stuff like that, which was nice, but we still wore our masks, which is why all my makeup's gone. Um, but we're gonna go out later, but I'm gonna show you what I got. And um, so the show was um, knitting and stitching show. So I didn't know exactly what will be there for me as a needle pointer, but there was plenty. I didn't go too crazy. I definitely could have, and I did leave a lot of room in my suitcase to do so, but I just, do, I wasn't in the headspace to go too crazy with buying fabrics and because I like to sew You know from like using up waste fabrics kind of point of view I wasn't in the humor to like buy a bunch of fabric without having a specific purpose or knowing exactly how much I need etc so There were so many nice stands I think I took little clips of the merchant and mills stand which is amazing my mum has a pattern from them um, their fabrics were just like gorgeous. I just love their stuff. Fabric wise, I just picked up the one thing. I got this Tencel, like Lyocell Tencel. Yeah, 100% Lys Tencel Lyocell. It was, it's a meter by 1.5 and it was 11 pounds. The color is not coming off very well here, but it's like a pretty bright, it's a bright enough green. Like it's coming off a lot more muted on camera, um, but it's just so soft and it's a lovely weight. I cannot remember, something pigeon? pigeon i'll leave the shop links that i can find like their instagrams or whatever down below because like as my friend was saying she was like the vibes from this shop are immaculate it was a tiny a really small stand but it was always super busy and i saw this i couldn't decide which tensile and i was like you know what this one because so many nice things so then needlepoint wise there was not a ton of like fibers like there was some a lot of hand dyed yarns. If you're into hand dyed yarns, this is the place for you. But not a huge amount of stuff that was like tapestry specific. I know you can use sock weight yarn. This isn't a needlepoint channel, but I did get um, some hand dyed threads from Pink Box Yarns. Um, and again, their stand was just like glorious to look at. Amazing if you had a project in mind. I didn't. So they have these particular like color stories. I got Dawn Chorus and it's i don't know how to pronounce it but it's like a thinner cotton it's not a stranded cotton but it's not a pearl cotton either so i'm guessing it would be maybe two strands for 18 count that's what i'm gonna go with um follow me at amk needlepoint i'll give updates on this but i'm loving these colors i just got the six pack yeah uh, they did have bigger packs but i decided to not go too crazy given that i don't have a specific project in mind um and then <laughs> There was like a lot of embroidery stuff. Um, I'm not a big embroidery person. I would go kind of needlepoint 
cross-stitch embroidery probably as like my top three but um not a ton of needlepoint stuff but one of the shops that was there was Anne's Orchard and I've stitched some of her stuff before and there was quite a bit of beading stuff and I've been wanting to try beading um but again I wasn't gonna buy beads they're more expensive like I don't have a project in mind but these are like the most perfect starter kits it comes with all the threads and all the beads and they're like six centimeters by six centimeters and this is a tiny cockerel it's Basil the cockerel um it was six pounds it's amazing um, and I really like her patterns. She did have some cushion kits which I only noticed afterwards but I was also like hmm I have some cushions I'm working on so maybe I shouldn't and I wanted to buy some hand dyed yarns for a particular project like a chart that I haven't started um, but I forgot and you know what that's fine. Just like generally walking around like the vibes were really good. It is very busy so if you're very nervous Covid wise this year was meh. Um, and I think hopefully by next year it'll be even better. Um, it might be busier though, I don't know. We did go on the Saturday, like early in the day on the Saturday, so I guess that's a busy time. Uh, this shop was called Golden Hind? Golden Hind, I think. Um, but my friend got me these new scissors. I kind of wanted a new pair of scissors or snips or something like that. I wanted like really tiny snips, which I couldn't find, but then I saw these and I wanted a pair of these as well. And they're like really simple gold scissors, but she got them for me for my birthday, which is really nice of her. And in the same shop, they have these Siesta interlocking bar frames, which I've been trying to get my hands on for so long. Um, they're great for needlepoint canvases, and I got the seven inch ones, which is so good because a lot of my stuff that I paint, the canvases are cut like eight inches by eight inches, or a little bit over that. So even if it's smaller, because oftentimes I do them slightly smaller, It'll fit like a four inch round perfectly on these. So love that. And the last thing I got, my friend got some wool actually. They, there were some, what's really nice about the knitting, my arm is getting so tired because I'm just talking for so long, but what's really, really nice about the knitting and stitching show is the amount of like physical patterns. I feel like nowadays there are so many digital patterns that it's kind of like, I love, you know, digital charts and everything, but it is really nice to have like a purchased physical copy especially when you're buying them. I just feel like having a purchased physical copy is so much nicer and you don't have to think about shipping or anything. And then the last thing I got just before we left was this Bargello book, Modern Bargello from uh, Tina Francis. And I, it was Tina Francis herself, apparently, who sold this to me. Um, but there were so many kits and I just couldn't pick a kit. And because I have so much stuff myself, even she was like, I, cause I, well, as I was purchasing it, I said I was a needle pointer. And she was like, oh, well this is good then because you can use all of your own materials at home, like your leftovers. And I was like, we think the same way. So that was really nice. And that book was only 10 pounds. And like photography is really nice. It's a really good quality book. So, so good. So happy with the stuff we got there. Definitely worth the day trip. Enough on that. We're gonna go to Bond Street, go to Oxford Street area now, and go out for dinner. And I think that's all the plans that we have today, but we're gonna bop around London for a little while, because it's only maybe 4.35 p.m. And um, yeah, very happy with our knitting and stitching show experience, and would definitely recommend if you're thinking of going. I think it was totally worth it. Sunday morning, we're about to head out to brunch with Rebecca's brother, who I also know really well. She's just going to get an umbrella because it is raining, but we're not sure what else we're going to do today other than brunch. Um, we might go to Shoreditch or we might go, I don't know, to Soho. Like, we're just going to figure it out as we go. to end this vlog it is over a week later when I say it has been all gas no breaks since I've been in London um basically by the time I'm uploading this I feel I still I'm still like so nervous to say I am moving um I am moving in like less than two weeks um 
so follow me on instagram to see that and um subscribe to this channel to see what's happening um i got an internship it's fantastic in other ways it's not ideal but i'm running with it for now and i'm really excited for this opportunity so subscribe to this channel um we had a great weekend in london obviously um but i was you know much like in my madrid vlog i was getting distracted and more distracted and more distracted because things just kept happening so i have just finished a another interview for an internship i don't think i'm gonna take well i know i'm not gonna take unless you know tragedy strikes but tomorrow i am headed to a visa appointment and then I should be traveling about a week from now. So yeah, things are really happening. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this London vlog. Sorry I didn't end it off. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of nervous to give more information, but uh, follow me on Instagram to see or subscribe to this channel to stay in the loop. I can't believe this is happening. Anyways, subscribe and I will see you in my next video.